Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. I'm just gonna do a normal random run today. No modes, no modifiers, no nothing. Uh, why am I going into his room? Because I thought I was going up here. I just have to think for a second. Off, off, on, off. I think we're good to go immediately. No Casey. We didn't get the the cursed SFX VFX playing, which means, oh, we did get our two freaking G2, oh my God. And Turbo Gun too, this is not a bad start. Um, I don't need another instance of an attempt to make me, to force me to play only with the KC in order to ruin, well, I mean, I don't know how we can ruin this uh, save file any more than it's already been ruined. No, I'm uh, very happy about the fact that, I mean, we basically already did 100% the save file. We don't need to, we don't need to, to feel sad that we now have a one, or well, it's actually now a two in the death indicator. Just believe that you were here for the 100% save file. Well, except we never did get a rainbow chest. I would love a rainbow chest. Rainbow chests don't necessarily have the same draw as they once did for me personally. Maybe that's maybe that's because I get a lot of, you know, Gungeon streamer luck happening in my runs, but I suppose, you know, the better off you get at a game, the less you need to be incredibly strong in order to succeed at it. If we if we uh, get a rainbow chest, it's really just getting a few extra items from a normal, from like a normal run perspective. And then of course, sometimes you get runs that are even better than rainbow runs. I mean, we had that run the other day where we broke a chest and got finished gun. Like you can't get much better than that on a run. We have so many keys, this is great. Larif says, is this still deathless? Well, technically, no, but we've we already 100%ed the save file and I'm, I'm doing like, well, I'm going to be doing way more uh, challenge runs and stuff. I wanna get people's ideas for run challenges and I also want to, uh, one of these days when I actually get a little bit more time, actually mod in run challenge criteria, which I think would be kind of fun just to, just to do. There is no water barrel in this room, but luckily there's one right here. That run was a farce, says. Why are all the names taken three? No, it's not. I I only opened a chest by using the lock pick. We followed the criteria of the run, <laughs> and the run decided that it wanted me to win. And that's all. That's all we gotta, that's all we, that's it. Blame the game, not the gamer. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, we are done. Let's get the heck out of here. You, I mean, quick floor, but... We do have good damage output. Also, why is uh, this gun not piercing? What the heck was that? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, if I dodge roll and press the, the reload button, it makes that horde sound. Um, I am curious. It does charge up the gun. That, that's something that I gotta work at. That's something I have to work out, let's say. Also, boo-boo. I like my boo-boo gun. Get another freaking key. I mean, we might as well open up the brown chest. Maybe it's a hidden rainbow chest. We can actually get freaking uh, this run complete. Uh, we got a key out of it, but at least we did get armor out of it. Um, 35 scrap. I think the flash ray is definitely worth buying for the next like two or three boss fights. If we have to have something, we'll just use lowercase r though because it's a good gun. Disposable says good key luck. We had very good key luck. This was a great floor. We had five keys at the end of it. Which meant that three keys dropped somehow. That's, that's fantastic. <sighs> So I feel like I'm, I'm, it's a couple of things going on with me today, or for the past couple of days. I, uh, I do feel like I've had a bit of a headache the past few days, but then also on top of that, 
I think I bit my tongue or like burned my mouth or something the other day. I don't know what happened, but as I talk, I feel like I'm biting my tongue. This is not the first time that this has happened where I feel like I've like bitten my cheek or my tongue or something and my mouth is just sore for some reason. I'm getting the same the same thing today. <laughs> it's weird, yeah. Oh, careful. It's weird, yes, but I'm just I'm coming across it honestly. I don't know what I did. By the way, Colazo Shorter Handle and Valerie Hillary, welcome! How are you doing today? Valerie Hillary with an emote of a banana shooting guns. <laughs> it's a cool looking emote. You wanna know it's also a cool looking emote? Be careful, it's a mimic. It's also spooky. Well, it's this room. Ah. You know what we haven't done yet? I hate to, to bring it up now because it's just the beginning of a run, basically, but... We've never flawless to run on this save file. Hasn't been done yet. I know we're only like a, barely in the second floor here, but still. Also, boo, boo, boo. Oh, boo, 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 boo. <laughs> now we just need a, a baby Gungeoneer uh, cultist here. Then we could go boo, 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 boo. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a, my brain's a little fried, I think, lately. Architrast says, I'm sad this gun doesn't have spooky, scary skeletons. There should be the synergy between, like, ghost bullets and, uh, Shella Boy. Spooky, scary skeletons. It would also get... Oh God, this gun does so much damage. It would also get, like, whatever mod it's a part of banned and DMCA matched immediately, but it would be worth it. What, what other um, Star Wars references are in the game? Because I'm thinking with R2-G2 it could go and it would just be like beep beep boop coming out, coming out of the gun. <laughs> There's so many possibilities. Lowercase R would just end up being the sound effect gun, basically. And if there was an item that... Uh, Oh god, if there was an item in Gungeon that it self-referenced Foley work, then one of the things the Ard Gun could give you is just like the Wilhelm, Wilhelm scream. <laughs> now I've got so many good ideas. Just play the Gunslinger. Play the Gunslinger and then you'll get all the freaking gun sound effects. I mean, I like the idea, I do. It's another key. My god. Triple crossbow is actually pretty good. I think it's actually worth using on this boss, this and flash ray, but I think we'll just use the flash ray. Why triple crossbow? Because triple crossbow slows. It's pretty good. Void Marshall says Architraz. I mean, Void Marshall, is that a Star Wars gun reference? I guess it, like when you, like laser pistol. What, what the heck does laser pistol reference? Everything. References any media franchise ever that has a protagonist that carries around a laser pistol. Could be a freaking reference to Star Trek. Well, probably not, because it's a very like specific looking laser pistol. Could be a reference to like Babylon 5 or something. It does look like Han Solo's blaster. I guess I just never paid attention to his blaster. <laughs> Look, all I know is that Han Solo shot first. I guess the fight saber is a reference, but it already has its own synergy. Anyways, R2G2 did a little bit of damage there, but Flash Ray, very good early gun for killing bosses. And we get Katana Bullets. 
Not something I'm actually happy to pick up because I think as a result of this we're definitely going to get hit very shortly in the run and then I'm going to complain about not getting the flawless yet again. But also at the same time, eh, whatever. You know, what happens happens. I'll, I've already accepted it. You'd be surprised how uh, quick you learn how to accept your lot in life in the Gungeon. <laughs> Uh, let's get the crest and get the heck out of here. And then we want our gun and then, I don't know, robot's right hand. Ghost. By the way, ghost. You wanna know what game I've uh, thought about recently? I don't know why, but I've actually thought about Sekiro recently. Maybe it's because I've been playing the uh, the Souls randomizer. And someone brought it up the other day. They were like, hey, have you ever played Sekiro? And the answer to that question is definitely yes. Made me wanna like look back at my own videos and, and uh, relive a couple of memories from my Sekiro playthrough. Fun game that was. Very unlike the other uh, Souls likes that I had been exposed to before then. If you like, ooh, infinite money run. If you like Souls likes, can't recommend it enough. I guess I've also been thinking a little bit of uh, Elden Ring lately for some reason, thinking about uh, either playing through that game again for myself or maybe. Uh, with a uh, but I told you. <laughs> I freaking told you not a minute ago. I can't wait to take damage with this item and then be really annoyed at it for a second and then realize, oh well, you just kind of accept what the game gives you. Except I lied about that. I don't accept it for a goddamn second. F you game. The crest drop off is right here, like three rooms deep. Screw you. Uh, that's why you don't take the freaking uh, katana bullets if you're looking to get a freaking flawless. Well, not a flawless for the boss fight because it's not gonna katana anything really, but a flawless for the uh, the rooms, yes. Uh. Zerg says, I still need to play Sekiro. You should. Is there a Sekiro randomizer, says Architraz. So there is, I looked it up, because I was curious myself, and uh, there definitely is. The one that I am very interested in is uh, Dark Souls 3. My friend Chris said that he would highly, highly recommend that I play the room or the door randomizer as well, really the fog wall randomizer. So you would enter a room and get teleported to another location. He said that when he played it, he had to have a like map that he drew the layout of the world on because every single doorway would lead to another location and he got very confused. But it sounds really fun. Apparently there is no such mod for Dark Souls 2, but I think there is one for Souls 3. I mean, there definitely is one for, for Souls 3. I think there might be one for Souls 1 but I, I didn't play with it. I just played with the item and boss randomizer and enemy randomizer, of course. By the way, boo! There's not a lot of Santa references in uh, <laughs> Gungeon, are there? There's a... We should have used Coin Crown and gotten infinite money. I guess, you know what, we still can. There's a... Uh, There's plenty of like things that are kind of spooky-esque. Oh, my freaking bullets pierce. You know, spooky scaring skeletons and boo and whatnot. I mean, I can't, I can't stop you because my bombs pierce. <laughs> 
This does not seem like a very efficient gun to be utilizing for the fight. Uh, I really, I really wish you wouldn't do this, uh, Snake. Snake? Snake! Like, compare this to the one run that we had where uh, I think I broke every segment of the Amaconda instantly as soon as I walked into the door. I can't even remember what gun I had. I got it! I got one! Was it finished gun? I don't, I don't remember. Come on, almost. I don't think I would uh, replay Sekiro though. At least not on, on stream or anything like that. I might at some point in the f near future or in the far future play it for myself again, but I don't know. I don't know if I have the uh, time or attention necessary to dump, you know, 40 hours into a game like that. I know that uh, I would probably enjoy coming back to Elden Ring as well, but I would... I don't know if I can spend a an hundred hours jumping into that game. It's too much, it's too much content. Let's get the key. Tremander, welcome. How are you doing today? We were not able to afford the A key anyways. Let's just open up whatever this is. It's zombie bullets. It's a spooky, scary day. Spooky, scary. I'll get the knock key. Why not? Uh, I don't think we have enough money for the Sinner uh, Grace chest. We did pick up like 150 credits from the boss, but I don't have the money. So goodbye. I'll see you later. <laughs> Commander says, hello, hello, everything all right? Uh, yeah, other than me having a very slight headache and then also feeling like I somehow bit my tongue. I'm doing all right today. Having a good time on this Gungeon run, minus the fact that I did take <laughs> uh, Katana Bullets. I had to look up, I had to look at the sprite to remember the name. Please reload, thank you. You know what, let's see. I don't know, I, I don't know. <laughs> it feels like it's taking a long time to kill everything. I think that's just normal though. <laughs> maybe uh, maybe I'm just getting a little bit too used to the uh, the strong runs, you know? The finished gun, the uh, the Gunder Fury gun, getting an infinite sprun. Or maybe I just need a better reload up. Got him? We got him. Thank you. I don't even know why I'm really trying to get more cash out of this. We really don't need any more cash. Yes, there's always the possibility of getting something good from a shop, but it just takes too long to reload and charge to begin with, and it doesn't even kill enemies in one hit. Please! Thank you for the key. The key luck has been extraordinary. And you, I was going to say you were going to give me the... Uh, duct tape, which didn't happen. However, you did give me an incentive for getting even more money. Which I will try to utilize to pick up the Gundromeda strain. <laughs> Sprun broke the Amaconda, says Mel Thompson. Yeah, that's the gun. Yeah, that was the good gun that I had. I remember now. You're right. You're right, God damn it. 
Um, could you please go away? <laughs> Accidentally, woo, pushed him into me. We've got so much cash. We should really get Gundramata Strain now, so I have a chance of killing these enemies with one shot from the gun instead of two. Let's go get that right now. There's also a Potion of Gun Friendship if we, if we really, really want it. I don't know if I really, really want it though. Oh, right. Katana bullets. <laughs> I like the katana bullet item. I just hate it in, in practice. I hate always blowing myself up. We get the vertebrae cave. Probably a synergy with the zombie bullets. Dawn of the gun dead. I'd forget what that one does. Look, I'm going to forget all of them. Don't ask me to tell you what a freaking synergy does. You'll be waiting for a long time for an answer. I don't know if it's the... Uh... Ooh. I don't, don't know if it's really the piercing effect of the gun that's allowing it to kill these enemies in one hit. Ah, you jerk. Or just the fact that we have Gundramata, but at least it's doing some okay damage. We have Stealth now. If only we had that last floor, but, you know. If only we stole Gundramata Strain, then I wouldn't have needed to use this gun. In fact, why am I using this gun now? Give me the Spooky Boo Gun. Spooky Boo Gun! Please, stop, stop it. <laughs> uh, I gotta, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna replace Gungeon with at some point soon. Maybe I should just, ooh, that barrel was just bulging. I, uh, I should play a little bit more Isaac. Maybe Isaac, yeah? Isaac would definitely be a fun game to jump back into with, uh, you know, another hundred hours, but... I find myself min-maxing in Isaac too much. I think a part of that is just due to the fact that the game is, at least to me, more difficult than, uh, than Gungeon. You know, I've got to spend my time on it. Oh, Gungeon streamer. Thinks it's too easy. I mean, I've, look, I've played the game a lot. We'll take your Hegemony Carbine, which is pretty bad. Guess we'll probably... We don't really have a boss killer, do we? Uh, Vertebrae K Frost Giants are our one-two punch, I guess. I mean, you gotta admit that was pretty good with the ring. Architrass says, pretty sure Isaac was a... Sorry. Architrass says, pretty sure Isaac was what lured me here in the first place. I don't know if I've actually been, like, slurring more today. It's just like, I've got this freaking bit tongue, and I just constantly feel it's like little pressure every time I talk. I gotta remind myself, hey, you're streaming, you gotta be talking more. Woe is me, right? Oh, whoa, the life of the streamer. Is there anything else to do? Yes. I spent my key. Frick! I'm, uh, just get me out. Are we doing rat? Well, we would have if I remembered to actually open up the damn door instead of spend my key opening up the the link shop. Oh, whoa, the Gungeon streamer forgets the key. 
spends 115 credits for no freaking reason. Hey, look, I'm just, uh, I'm a man of the people. I'm just doing my best to, uh, to ensure that that shopkeeper stays in business. It's been a rough time. Nobody wants to kill rats anymore. Please reload. I don't know what's killing these enemies. It must be R2G2 and then the fact that they all have lower HP. I don't know why R2G2 would be doing this much damage otherwise. Maybe a secret room with a key? Uh, I mean, I didn't see anything obvious on the floor. I didn't want to spend a million years looking for ones. I, I accepted my, my loss. As mentioned earlier, sometimes you just have to accept what the Gungeon gives you or what you give to the Gungeon. And today I gave to the Gungeon a big ol' F you to the rat fight because I forgot I had the key. Because I'm the big dumb. Please. Give me a, I want out of this room. Thank you. Uh, look, we don't need the ammo. Might have actually been something worth worth doing there with it, but we don't need it. What the heck? <laughs> Anyways, yeah. <laughs> Need to find something to replace Gungeon with at some point. We played a little bit of Exit the Gungeon, which was very fun. I'm glad I came back to it. People had been asking me about that for a while, whether or not I was gonna do the, uh, I forget the name of the fight too, the, the Galoctopus fight. That was a lot of fun. But uh, now I gotta figure out what we're gonna do next. I haven't, I haven't thought that far ahead yet. Maybe that's what I'll do this uh, upcoming Christmas break. I will think long and hard and heavy about what we're gonna be doing in the future. Sure, I will take bullet gun. We'll also steal the Patriot, which is a great gun. Wiley Weasel says Disco Elysium. Well, that doesn't really fit the bill for a warm-up game, though. <laughs> you know, I've already got many games like long form uh, story based or clear endpoint games to play. What I need is like a, can't fly. I don't know why I thought I could fly. What I need is like a roguelite, something for a warm up. What about One Step from Eden? I never did play that game. I played like a few hours of it on my own, realized it was very good and then didn't play it again. People uh, also occasionally bring up Wizard of Legend, which they uh, they enjoy, and uh, I have, I've played quite a bit of it myself. I don't think I've played it when they introduce like lightning and wind bosses or anything like that. Ooh, disposable account says Vagante. Now that's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Fun game, incredibly hard. I remember basically nothing about it, so it, a lot of it would be rediscovery, which is always fun. And then of course there's always the uh, the incredibly obvious one, Slay the Spire. If people really, really want more of that, we'll buy the key. I will buy Table Tech Rage. We'll get the crutch, it's a good item. West of Dead, says Maxwell. Uh, I don't think so. Hammer watch, nope. You know, that's true, Disposable. People always recommend uh, the Downfall mod. Hey, Abe, when are you gonna play the Downfall mod? When are you gonna go back into Slay the Spire? I don't freaking know. Okay, I don't know, man. But I suppose that is true. Wait, <laughs> I just realized we should have tried to 
to see if the wallmonger killed you when it hit the bottom of the screen. I, someone told me in the affirmative, well, okay, someone told me one way or another that they experienced it themselves and that it either did or it didn't, but I forget which one it was. I forget if you're behind the wallmonger if it kills you instantly. I think it does, but I don't know. I can't remember. Because I've never had, the, I've had the wallmonger kill me, but not when I was behind it, is the thing. That would be very fun and funny to do though. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's get out of here. We're done with the floor. I guess we should sell the things we don't want, which in our particular case is really none of our passes. I guess we don't want a uh, bullet gun. It's not good enough. I don't think we want turbo gun. I don't think we want brick breaker. Uh, probably also do not want heck blaster. Let's get rid of that. There you go. Thank you. Plaza says, the other roguelite I really enjoyed back then was Book of Demons. I have not heard of that one. Krusty Spaceman says, an eight hour multiverse run sounds like a good warm up. <laughs> There's a reason why on my, my stream days, it's like, okay, uh, oh, that was not LJ. That was ML Burke. Hello, welcome, and thank you very much for the resubscription. Hey all, long time no see. Indeed. And yet you're currently still on a 15 month win streak. Good to see you. Returnal coming to PC. Yeah, TBD, right? Like we don't know when it's gonna come out yet, so. That is one that I'm gonna probably play it though. But yeah, <laughs> FTL runs are always, uh, they're either eight hours long or like three. It's a hard game to do a warm up of unless I'm, you know, streaming for 14 hours every day. And I gotta say, you know, if people would like that and if you would, you know, support me like, you know, 2.5 times as much as you currently do, monetarily speaking, you bastard! That time I just ran into you. Uh, yo, I'll, I'll do 14 hour streams, I don't care. Stream every, every damn day of the week. I'll be a streamer guy. That's the fight. I don't want to do the fight. Hey, do you have any tips for new Dark Souls players? It's Cat Samurai. Uh. <sighs> tips for new Souls players. I'm trying to think back to when I first played Dark Souls and whether or not I needed tips or really wanted tips. Uh, there's not many tips to give players, except just figure it out on your own. You're introduced to all the mechanics. You've got a dodge roll, you've got a parry if you want it. You can move around the enemies. All the enemies have you know animations that determine what they're doing so you can visually see and prepare for certain attacks. It's all just about understanding the game. You gotta understand how the 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 gameplay all fits together. It's a lot of self-discovery. Crazy room. You know, a lot of uh, a lot of games that have come out, even if they're not Souls likes, they've taken a lot of inspiration from, I think, how Souls like how it um, provides information to the player regarding enemy attacks and what they're doing, and a lot of other things. Well, I don't know what I'm talking about. I. I don't want to be a uh, big brain Abe right now. <laughs> I'm too tired for this. I got too much of a headache. I'm not going to be writing a review anytime soon, let's say. Zen in the art of soul likes. Really, the Zen is... You've got to dodge, use it. 
<laughs> what? I thought I could fly. I keep thinking I'm the rat. Um, but really the, the Zen is, hey, the game has given you all of the tools you need to easily handle every encounter in the game. You just have to learn it. You have to understand it yourself. The, the same thing happened to me, and you, like, you can go look at it because it was on freaking video. When I was playing Sekiro, I was fighting Lady Butterfly. This is not a spoiler, by the way. It's just, I'm just, it's names that you don't understand if you've never played it before. But I was playing Lady Butterfly, and I realized on that fight how you're supposed to engage enemies. I understood the style of gameplay that the game was, was looking for. I understood in that fight, oh my god, you mean you're supposed to, it's like a dance with the sword, you attack, they, they parry, they attack, you parry, and you look for your opening and then you exploit it? That's what you're going for in the game? And once I figured that out, I was like, oh my god, this game's easy. I understand what I'm doing. I feel like to a certain extent you gotta you gotta find the same thing in uh well that's bad. You gotta find the same thing in Dark Souls. You have to find that moment of Eureka, that discovery where you actually understand what the game is asking from you. As far as the combat goes. I do have one key. Dark Souls tips prepare to die. Actually, you can't buy that edition of the game anymore. You can only buy the remaster. So Dark Souls tip remaster. Valerie Hillary says tips don't use the internet to find answers. I mean, I would agree with you on that, but I would agree with you on that for most video games. You know, don't look up. But hey, you look up stuff all the time. Well, yes, okay, I do look up stuff all the time, but I'm looking up specific questions like I look up uh, an event in FTL I'm like How do, what the heck which option should I take to get the cruiser quests unlocked Architrast says I thought the age-old Dark Souls advice was get good I mean that that's kind of what it is isn't it get good it's like understand the game on your own that's kind of the advice, isn't it? Am I being told how to ensure a daily multiverse run? Hmm, says Architraz. You will not be able to make me make me do a daily... Well, no, I guess you will be able to... Yeah, I am giving you the instructions for how to ensure daily multiverse runs. Now that I think back to what I just said about four minutes ago. Look, I've got a headache. That's what I'm gonna blame. I'm gonna blame the headache. I'm gonna blame the the bit tongue. Wherever the hell that came from. I'll blame everyone but myself. I will, I think, gun munch. Internet, how do I make the six hour run last 10 hours in multiverse? Uh, easy, read all the dialogue. I don't know, give me a uh, frost giant. This game is so gosh darn dialogue heavy. Thank you. Uh, we want a Patriot shotgun is fine. Well, room combat, maybe shotgun mutation. Doesn't mutation knock you back? Yeah, we have scatter shot. I'll still do it. And I'll still, you know, electrocute myself and then be really annoyed. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, yeah. Once you understand what the game wants from you, how you're supposed to integrate with the, uh, or really engage with the, uh, the combat, it all becomes a lot easier. I found that moment in Sekiro, and everyone finds that moment in Souls. Really, I think if I had to explain it in Dark Souls, I guess I would say what the game expects you to do is to play unfair. 
Like, the game expects you to roll behind the enemies where they can't attack you and then hit him in the butt. Once you, once you realize that, that it's, life's unfair and you start to, you know, apply that to Dark Souls, I think you start to have a better time. I think you, I think you honestly do. This is Capture, welcome. How long did it take you to learn it though? Still struggling myself. I mean, again, it, when I was playing Sekiro, I learned it on Lady Butterfly, how to play that game. It took a long time. Souls? I mean, I, I don't exactly remember, but I remember playing, I never played Demon Souls, I only played Dark Souls, and I remember. Undead Berg. Getting up to that bonfire, making it to the Taurus Demon, spending hours trying to figure out what the heck I was supposed to do and how I was supposed to get through the enemies. And then it all just kind of clicked. It all eventually just clicked and I'm like, oh, you mean if I let this guy attack, back up and then move forward and then hit him and hit him when he's uh, in his recovery animation, I can kill him? And oh, I only have to do that eight times for all these enemies? And oh, I only have to like lure them out one at a time in order to kill them? Oh, I only have to do all this stuff? Oh, that's easy. And then you just kind of get good. <laughs> You kind of just get good. This is the wrong direction, isn't it? Yeah. Can this room only spawn in the wrong direction? I feel like, I feel like this is a wrong direction room indicator. Very strange. Something about maybe the, the placement of, of hallways and doors on the edge of that room, but that is definitely not where we should be going. By the way, rip rate? <laughs> Bunnicletta says, oh yeah, I got Sneko Eye once. I have no idea how you use that awful thing as bubonic lettuce. Inspire? Sneko Eye? You, you take all the good expensive cards and then you win. Actually, if you're talking about Slay the Spire and you want some advice, uh, I can give you one very good piece of advice for Sneko Eye. It's take every card that you can that gives you draw and you'll be fine. Take all the expensive cards and all the cards that give you draw, and you'll be fine. And we do a lot of damage. The enhanced homing triple shot from the mutation along with the electricity is just crushing it. I think this is the end, by the way. We, we picked the correct direction. I also really like the the Gordian knot that that is inside of the enemy as we hit them with the uh, with the mutation beam. Architras says, "Why do the Pyrex dishes on Abe's Amazon wish list look so out of place?" <laughs> I forgot what's on that wish list. Really, it's just a reminder for me for things I need to pick up. That's pretty funny, though. <laughs> we have to cook meth for Gus. I don't know who Gus is. <laughs> is that a... Is that a Breaking Bad thing? Man, the mutation synergy here is so good. Not here, it's just in general. We knew Abe was addicted to something basilicate glass. I don't know anything about Pyrex, just that it's good and it doesn't break. Oh god, don't start with this. No, 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 we want this. That gets you stuck, you take advantage of it. You are just absolutely screwed, my friend. Yeah, that was a pretty good run. We had a couple of extremely good items, well, guns in particular, and then it was just solid. 
I like the crutch and the scatter shot. I think those are amazing. <laughs> oh, my head. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, let me know what you think I should be playing for my warm-up runs. What game would you like to see me play? For now, for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe for more, check me out on Twitch. For when I go live, support the channel, any of the links below in the video description, and I hope to see you here again for the next run of Enter the Gungeon and Francis Franciscano. Thank you very much for the resub.